Our first reading is from Psalm 139. Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in, behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The of the morning comes out of the book of Genesis, the 28th chapter. Uh, we're in the Jacob narratives, as they're called, and it talks about the life of Jacob. And we'll continue for a couple more chapters. Jacob is uh, an important character in the story of the Jewish people because it is Jacob whose name will be changed to Israel. But thank heavens his name was changed to Israel because Jacob in the Hebrew means cheater or thief or grabber. Uh, has some rather negative connotations and yet as we hear the story we discover that Jacob is a, a little bit of a cheat. Jacob has figured out a way to get his brother Esau, twin brother Esau, to give up his right as the firstborn son to inherit all of the father's property. And he does it in a pretty sneaky way with collusion from his mother. And I guess Jacob would always say, Mom always liked me best. Uh, and Esau, on the other hand, whose name means red, uh, could also have been called Buva, uh, because the thing that drove him was hunting and being out in the wilderness and uh, just doing things that a, guy, a good old guy likes to do. And uh, when we pick up the story, Esau has just discovered that Jacob has stolen his birthright. And so we read in Genesis 28, Jacob left Beersheba and went toward Haran. He came to a certain place and stayed there for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones of the place, he put it under his head and lay down in that place. And he dreamed that there was a ladder set up on the earth, the top of it reaching to heaven. And the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And the Lord stood beside Jacob and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham your father, and the God of Isaac. The land on which you lie I will give to you and to your offspring, and your offspring shall be like the dust of the earth, and you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south, and all of the families of the earth shall be blessed in you and in your offspring. No that I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Then Jacob woke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, Be How awesome is this place. This is none other than the house of God and this is the gate of heaven. So Jacob rose early in the morning and he took the stone that he had put under his head and set it up for a pillar and poured oil on top of it. He called that place Bethel, but the name of the city nearby was Luz at the first. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, God. 